Is it better to make dua in English or Arabic during the prayer? Arabic. <laughs> Arabic. Don't be making dua in English. It's makru tahriman. Um, you'd be sinful for doing it in your prayer uh, in English. Um, simply because you might ask for something or you might articulate something. That's like uh, something you can ask um from people and that invalidates the prayer like you know someone wants to marry so and so you can go ask her father right you say oh Allah marry me to so and so it would invalidate the prayer so um, just stick to the uh, stick to the Arabic and uh, honestly um, learn some of the du'as of the Prophet and what you'll find is that the du'as of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they're beautiful deep broad Full of meaning and full of devotion to Allah. This dua that I, I say at the beginning of my classes, it came uh, to us from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam after the verses of Surah Al Mu'minun uh, were revealed. And uh, Al Mu'minun, and he he told us whoever applies the the first twelve verses of Surah Al Mu'minun will go to paradise. And uh, <coughs> so anyway, this. <coughs> so, um, the verses were revealed and then the Prophet said Allahumma akrimna wa la tuhinna O uh, Allah, honor us and don't humiliate us wa a'tina wa la tahrimna and give to us and don't withhold from us wa athirna wa la tu'thir alayna and choose us and don't choose anyone over us wa ardina wa anna and please us like through your gifts and closeness to you and be pleased with us like you can anything you can imagine anything you can ask for it's in this dua right so the best thing to do is to learn the duas of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and in your sunnas and you know your witr whatever recite these duas it's ideally it's best to keep them out of the fard yeah, lest you do something and then your obligatory prayer is invalidated without you realizing, right? Like if you make a mistake. But you, you can, although ideally the imam should avoid them, but you can recite them in the fard as well. Um, but the ulama say in the Hanafi school, it's better to uh, keep these for your sunnahs and your nawafil and the witr, for example. Um, sunnahs and nawafil is best. Uh, and then after you finish your prayer, <clears throat> there's no limit. Raise your hands and say, Oh Allah, you know what's in my heart. Oh Allah, here are my needs. Oh Allah, you love giving. You're the most generous. Take care of it. And ask whatever you want to ask. So I think that's the best way. And Allah knows best. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah